What's going on, everybody? So, this has been recently floating around on social media. I'm not too sure how many people have actually seen it. If you guys look, same card, same serial number, POP1, PSA10, all across the board. Within three months, it took, a, I think it's like a 42% dip or something like this. So, doing a little bit of reading onto this. Uh, Golden Auction sold originally to somebody. Then that person sold it to somebody else. And I believe then that person took it to Alt and it sold for that amount there. Now, you can look at this in a couple different ways. You know, some people are like, that oh, just shows, you know, the market's going way down and all that stuff out there, which could be part of the thing. You can look at platforms onto this, too. Golden, huge exposure. I don't know. Everything I've heard from people uh, buying on Alt and PWCC is you get it a fraction of the cost. I don't know. I don't get into that stuff because some of them charge, like, 10% buyer premiums and all that. Now, I do not know if the buyer's premium was added into these sales prices. Because, again, I don't follow it. If any of you guys do, just uh, put in the comments section. Help edu educate me a little. Educate me some. But, really, I mean, you can look at what day of the week was it sold on. You know, okay, February 6th. That was the start of tax season. People getting quick refunds back. But $96,000. Eh. Scratch that one out, probably, um, offhand. But... I do know a lot of the big, uh, how can you use the word, I guess investors that came over from like the stock, the shoes, and all that other stuff, you know, they came in and got out pretty quick. I mean, there's probably still some floating in here but uh, around, but not many like it was. I think a lot of the uh, rare cards were bought up by the like share, what do you call it, where you own a piece of the fractional or the card things like collectible and all that. I mean, a lot of them big cards are sitting in those places waiting for somebody to overbid and overpay onto one of those in there. And, I mean, just because you own a fraction of it, I think you have to have a, a percentage of the owners have to agree to sell it in order for it to go through and all that. Uh, it's, some, it's some insane stuff. I'm not going to lie. Some insane stuff onto that. But this here, you know, a lot of talk has been going on with it. Curious what everybody else's thoughts are here. What do you think? You know, that's that's a huge price difference. It really is. And I was going to try to pull up some other stuff with this. But, you know, different players, different types of cards, different pops. Um, definitely you serial numbered out of 100, different years. I mean, Fleer Mystique, very hard grade from back in the day, I can tell you offhand. But I was going to pull Topps Chrome LeBron PSA 10s up versus the refractors just to show how much those things have dipped in the past down from what they were selling at originally. I know the refractors that went down, I think they're holding steady kind of where they're at. Um, it's going to depend on pretty much LeBron after this and if they'll actually sell for that high. I mean, if it's a low pop count and they pop it up every so often, maybe one every quarter on golden or on this auction house yeah it'd probably stay realistically hopefully up where they're at but i've heard a lot going on this uh past couple weeks the stock market's down bitcoin uh, they, i know it came back up but crypto went down you know and all this other stuff i mean it is summertime people go on vacations they spend money they're not going to spend big money on cards what are your thoughts, you know, else to why a lot of stuff is dipping that I don't, I'm not thinking about the high PSA counts of like Zion Prism rookies and Luca Prism rookies to Akuna Tops rookies, but more of the limited stuff that you don't see at every show versus always popping up on one of the platforms. I mean, even like Barry Bonds autos, stuff like that there. See what everybody has to say. I, like I said, I always look forward to going through the comments. I normally comment on everybody's back as long as I'm getting the alerts onto it. If I do miss it, I do apologize. I try to go back through it once a week on Sundays to see if something new popped up, if it got filtered out or something like that there. But it's always good because I always try to learn stuff from other people, get to see uh, different viewpoints and that across the board because I'm just my own viewpoint out there. So I can, I can look at viewpoints of people that buy, sell, trade, you know, or dealers out there, or collectors out there. 
So I, I have an idea what most, uh, why you guys would comment are just because of how you guys uh, talk in the comments or coming in the live chats and stuff. But it's always good to see that because then you always learn when you break down your audience into different groups, you know, what, how everybody's viewing something. So more, just more of like a background research thing, just like I'm doing the five straight weeks of card shows, different areas, trying to see current trends and stuff like that. Bye, right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. Catch y'all next video.